Hey, hello there to you. It's Saturday. It's the 29th of February 2020. 2020. That's very, very important. It's me, Alex William Smith, better known to many of you as Jonathan Royal, comedy stage hypnotist, hypnotherapist. Uh, also known in my former stage name of Alex Leroy, which is important because that's the name as well as my birth name that they used in the fabricated article of lies in the News of the World in around March, April 1998. Yes, that's like, blimey, that is like 22, oh, tw we're going back 22 years ago. But here's the thing, on May the 24th, 2019, my renewed grounds of appeal went into the Royal Courts of Justice. Now prior to that, when the Talisa trial collapsed, uh, after Madame Mahmoud, the fake shape, was exposed as a, uh, a serial liar and perjurer, bender of the truth, fabricator of evidence and all that nonsense, then an appeal was put in. But that was not backed by the single judge and my lawyer at the time then decided to send it straight to the Criminal Cases Review Commission who turned it down uh, on technicalities that they missed a load of points but that's all explained at circusofthemind.net at the link below. The important thing is that on May the 24th 2019 I resubmitted my renewed grounds of appeal to the Royal Courts of Justice in London. I had to do this off my own back because uh, the solicitors who were working for me pro bono um, said they'd done enough work and unfortunately along the way it looks like they may have made errors and misled me a bit which is all explained on circusofthemind.net i sure it was an innocent mistake but it's all explained there anyway here's the thing just wanted to update you because it is Saturday the 29th of February 2020 which means that it's nine months and five days ago on the 24th of May 2019 that the Royal Courts of Justice signed and received the documents for my renewed grounds of appeal. I've got proof of that and you can see it on circusofthemind.net because I sent it signed for draft delivery. I also rang them that day and checked they got it and they confirmed. Now, the last written communication I've ever had from the Courts of Appeal in London was on the 17th of June 2019 that's eight months and 12 days ago that's the only letter I've got and that was one saying basically they got the stuff and it was in the process of being dealt with then on the 15th of August 2019 I got the Crown Prosecution Services respondents notice with their explanation of why they think uh, my conviction is safe despite the fact of all the evidence that I provided that it most certainly is completely unsafe but we'll come back to that in a minute and that was dated the 15th of August so that's six months and 14 days ago six months and two weeks ago I replied to that because of their massive errors and the fact that what they effectively did was reply mainly to the grounds of appeal that were submitted by my previous solicitors which at the time contained errors but that was no fault of mine and no fault of the solicitors it contained errors because lots of things were just from memory since then I've managed through GDPR General Data Protection Registrar requests to obtain official documents from courts from uh, the Royal Mint from the CPS from the Crown uh, Criminal Cases Review Commission from various places which have given me a whole stack of new strong undeniably in my favour evidence all of which can be seen at circusofthemind.net anyway I submitted this reply on the 19th of August 2019 outlining all, what all this new evidence was outlining the fact the Crown Prosecutor and Service had ignored my renewed grounds of appeal dated the 24th of May 2019 and seemed to just be responding to the old grounds of appeal back from 2015 which are now out of date because I've now been able to obtain documents to clarify that that was just coming from memory previously so I've got documents to prove names places dates times and all that kind of thing um, and most importantly to prove emails confirmation from the Royal Mint confirming to me that they have no records of any alleged counterfeit coins being sent to them for checking and that's despite the Crown Prosecution Service having stated in the past that they sent them to be checked by the Royal Mint and that they proceeded against me on the basis that the coins were counterfeit. Well it appears they had no evidence of them being counterfeit 
So therefore, it would seem that this case should never have gone to court in the first place. That's aside from the fact that they afforded um, Mazamamu journalistic privilege to buy alleged counterfeit coins off me. It never got done. But I was not alleged. Uh, sorry, I was not given uh, journalistic license in the same way as Mahmood was. Why? Because the judge, CPS, and everyone involved confirmed that they agreed that I provided evidence that I was uh, recording matters as well, and it was my intention to go to a rival newspaper and expose Mahmood's dishonest and arguably illegal activities. Um, can you say cover up? I don't know. Uh, further, there's tons of stuff that's come to light that the Crown Prosecution Service did know about, uh, and certainly the Met Police did, but the Crown Prosecution Service should have, and did, it appears, know about uh, Mahmoud's dishonesty and serial um, criminal connections and activities that were never disclosed to me or any of the other Mazza Mahmoud fake shape victims, which if it had been disclosed would have enabled me to uh, present a much stronger defence at the time and this matter would likely never have got to court or I would never have changed my plea at the last minute to guilty with mitigating circumstances. Indeed I would have pleaded not guilty and probably got found not guilty because of the stuff that the CPS knew about Mahmoud's long term uh, connections to criminals, illegal activities and all manner of other stuff that's now come to light all the evidence of which is at circusofthemind.net um, there's non-disclosure issues, there's the fact that they didn't give me journalistic license, there's the fact there's no evidence of the coins being anything other than perhaps real. Um, there's a whole bunch of other reasons why this case should never have got to court, or why it should certainly now definitely be considered unsafe, including circumstantial evidence that I, like many of other Mahmoud's victims, uh, was drugged without our knowledge, uh, and was certainly intimidated, manipulated, and threatened behind the scenes by Mahmoud's associates, to engineer situations his way and that he also fabricated evidence, spliced videos and audios uh, and lied uh, completely. Well, I responded to all that on the 19th of August 2019, which is six months and ten days ago. Since then, I've rung the Court of Appeal at r roughly monthly intervals, asking why I've not heard anything in writing, and they say that it's still waiting to go to a summary writer. As of two weeks ago when I rung them, uh, in January, uh, sorry, in February 2020, it's still waiting to go to a summary writer to be written up to then be presented to, as I understand it, three judges, and if two of them vote that there's merit in the case, which I would hope they would if they look at circusofthemind.net, which contains a copy of my renewed grounds of appeal, which you can see. It also contains a copy of the uh, CPS's respondent's notice and my reply to it, and all the evidence of why they should never have gone to court in the first place. Um, then, as long as two out of three consider there's merit in it, then it should get listed for an appeal hearing, at which point the CPS have to put their case forward as to why they defend it as safe, which we assume they would try and use what they put in their respondents notice or to throw their hand in and uh, in which case probably my conviction would get overturned. Now if they try to go down the route of their respondents notice you'll notice when you look at circusofthemind.net, look at the documents, they've requested that the court ignore the emails that I got from the Royal Mint saying that they've never been sent any coins to be checked uh, in this case, connected to my name or the news of the world. Surely that is the most vital bit of evidence that shows that the Crown Prosecution Service were incompetent and did not have them checked and proceeded to take me to court um, without foundation or basis or valid argument. Um, but they want that covered up by the court. They've also chosen to completely ignore their non-disclosure, uh, their lack of giving me journalistic licence, but they gave Mahmood licence. They failed to explain why they claim that counterfeit coins were seized off me, but no coins were ever seized off me. Because whether they were real coins or fake coins, I handed them to Mazza Mahmood, uh, and he handed me a sum of money, as all explained on circusofthemind.net. So no police, no authorities, and Mahmood has no legal authority, so nobody seized coins off me. So that's a blatant lie as well. It's a comedy of errors, all those errors with evidence of them, and the total evidence of how I was stitched up, how Mahmoud fabricated things, lied, drugged me, and a whole bunch of other things, 
is all on circusofthemind.net. The link's below this video. Please share this far and wide. This story is not over yet. And, you know, I just feel glad that I was managed, managed to get through this. I'm just glad that my friends such as Herbie Hyde and John Alford from London's Burning and a whole bunch of other people were strong enough to get through the lies that ruined their careers and lives in many ways, just as they did mine, uh, and didn't do what Caroline Flack, the British television presenter, did recently of taking her own life because of the bullying and lies and distorted nonsense of the British media. Um, the truth well out in time, one would hope. If anyone's got any legal advice, free lawyers who can point me in the right direction of what the heck can I do? Anything to speed this up? Uh, or any advice on the evidence that's on circusofthemind.net, then please do contact me via my website, magicalguru.com. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.